everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around I have another collection update to share with you guys, and as you can tell by the title sequence and, well, the title of this video, uh, you'll know that this video is about my Wii U video game collection. Uh, now, I did do a collection update video last, I want to say last November, so about a year ago. Uh, actually, less than a year ago, but we're almost to a year at this point. And I thought it was time to get to it once again, uh, just because I have added some games since then. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to be looking at the first half of my Wii U video game collection. And uh, the following week after, I will have the second part of my Wii U game collection. So, uh, let's just get to it. So, starting out with the first two games I'm going to talk about are two games that I have sealed, but I have the download versions of both of these games. Uh, so I just wanted to track down physical copies of these games as well, uh, just to have them, you know, in case anything happens, uh, in case I don't have the storage capacity anymore, uh, to have those games on there, at least I'll still be able to play them. First game is Pikmin 3. Uh, not my favorite Pikmin game, but I still like Pikmin. Uh, and the other one is Tank Tank Tank. And uh, the thing about this game here is that it went free to play, and then the physical copies became very hard to find and quite pointless to purchase. Uh, but I did want to have a physical copy of this, so I ended up finding one. Uh, and I got it using some trade credits, so not that big of a deal there. Uh, moving on to the rest of my games, they're all in alphabetical order. Uh, these games are going to range from uh, numbers all the way through to the letter L. So first up here is 007 Legends. Uh, I have not had a chance to play this one yet, but I'm assuming that it has um, different sort of uh, levels that are based after different James Bond movies. Of course, you can see Daniel Craig there on the cover of it, uh, but it looks like it has uh, levels inspired by Goldfinger, Moonraker, uh, Die Another Day, and Skyfall as well. I suppose at this point, Skyfall was the newest. Yeah, uh, Skyfall would have been the newest James Bond movie, so they had to include something modeled after Skyfall. And it does have to do with the 50 year anniversary of James Bond as well, so something. Uh, not the biggest James Bond fan, but I I saw this for cheap and I thought, sure, I'll, I'll grab it. Uh, next game is the Amazing Spider-Man Ultimate Edition. Uh, this one here, uh, it's like the definitive version of this game. It was also on, I think, PS3 and 360, uh, but the Wii U version is definitely the one to grab. Next game is, is Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I got this for free, so let's just sort of skip over it. Not not the best Assassin's Creed game. Definitely not the worst, but nowhere near sort of good. Uh, next game is Batman Arkham City Armored Edition. Again, just uh, an older release that was re-released in a sort of definitive edition. Uh, this one here is the armor edition like I said uh, the difference between the other versions and this version is that you have the Wii U gamepad um, added functionality so you can see here Batman has uh, this sort of screen on his forearm and that's pretty much all the uh, sort of added content that you get out of that as I almost drop it uh, you basically get sort of little mini things that you do on the gamepad. Uh, otherwise, gameplay is exactly the same. Uh, next game is Bayonetta 2, and this is the original release that came with uh, Bayonetta included as well on its own disc. Uh, to this day, I still have not finished Bayonetta 2. Um, I played through Bayonetta 1 uh, on the Wii U as well. I did play it on the 360, uh, but I did want to play it on the Wii U when I got this. And uh, Bayonetta 2, like I said, have not finished it, but really, really need to get to it sometime soon. Next game is a game that I played to hell, 
finished everything in here. So much to do, even though the levels are relatively short, like really short. Uh, it's Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Uh, in this game, though, pretty much just a collectathon. I tried to get absolutely everything that I could in this game uh, on the first go, and every time that I completed a level but didn't manage to find everything, I sort of would get mad at it and be like, what the hell did I miss? What did I do wrong? And then there'd be like some stupid requirement where you had to beat the entire level without killing any enemies or doing something a certain amount of times or not getting hit and then I'd have to go back and redo it but it was still a relatively uh, fun experience and sort of quick game uh, it was really easy to sort of just pick up and play for a little bit and then of course put it down and get back to it later on uh, another game where we have another sort of definitive edition here is Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. Uh, I honestly don't know what the difference is between this and the other versions other than the uh, sort of gamepad integration, but I think if I remember correctly, all that you could really use the gamepad for was uh, like a map and then like just menu stuff. So. Uh, not that interesting, but at least it's a good Deus Ex game. Next game is one that I got because, uh, like I got this on the Wii U because initially I think that the PS3 and 360 versions were released physically, but it was just an empty case with a code and a pin and you didn't actually get a disc for the game and the Wii U version was the only one that actually came with a disc. Uh, but then later on they released it physically on the other systems as well. Uh, it is DuckTales Remastered and I absolutely love this game. Uh, DuckTales I've played on on the um, God I'm spacing here on the NES and I played DuckTales 2 on the Game Boy as well and I really do love uh, DuckTales and I love the show as well so uh, when this was uh, sort of launched I I had to get it. Uh, next game is a game in a sort of long-standing series I want to say that it's been about uh, around for over over a decade at this point if I remember correctly I think the first game in the series was on the Game Boy Advance uh, and it's a game that's made up of a lot of mini games. It's a game and Wario, and this is sort of in the WarioWare uh, series of games. And it's pretty fun. It's a fun game to play against other people. Um, but honestly, I, I didn't like it that much. It seemed like it was mostly just a tech demo for uh, the Wii U gamepad. And then it was sort of just skimmed, sorry, skinned with Wario, and otherwise it's not really, not really a special game, but it, it, it was fun for what it was, and it had its moments. Uh, next game is Hyrule Warriors. Now, I have not played that much of this game. I played it a bunch when it came out, and since then I've played it maybe once or twice. So I do need to get back into this, I do need to play more of it, and I do want to check out the 3DS version as well that was released a little while back, uh, but otherwise, I mean, it's Dynasty Warriors but Legend of Zelda, so you can't really go, um, can't really go too wrong with that. Uh, next game is Disney Infinity, I only have this because I found it in a thrift store for a couple dollars. Uh, I have not actually played this and I don't own any of the toys so I can't really play it. I think I only ended up grabbing this because I saw it in a thrift store, it was dirt cheap and it was just kind of weird to see it there. Same with this next game here, Just Dance 4. Actually same thrift store as the Disney Infinity, uh, just kind of strange to see uh, Wii U games pop up in thrift stores. Uh, n not many games are popping up but it's usually uh, sort of these kinds of generic kid titles and a lot of sports games and stuff like that. Moving on, the next game here is Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. 
uh, not my favorite Kirby game and definitely this one here and Canvas Curse on the DS not my favorites but it's still again it has its moments uh, the sort of play art style of this I really did like I really really enjoyed it uh, then again I also did like um, I'm forgetting what it's called right now, but the uh, uh, Kirby, Kirby's Epic Yarn, Kirby's Epic Yarn on the uh, Wii, I did like that as well. But this here, not really that much. Next game is Legend of K Anniversary. This one is a re-release of a game on the PS2. Uh, it's like an action adventure game, and it's. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I pretty much just got this because I felt like it would be like an obscure game. Uh, it was released on the PS3 as well, I think, and maybe PS4, but I'm having a hard time remembering right now. But the Wii U version, I felt like, would be uh, pretty uncommon, so I went ahead and grabbed that one there. And then the last two games I'm going to show you guys... Uh, both Zelda games. First one here, well, and of course they're both uh, HD remasters. Uh, first is Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, and uh, I gotta say Wind Waker, I haven't played that much Wind Waker, but I don't feel that it really needed an HD remake because it still looks really good on the GameCube. Uh, it's definitely a very beautiful game no matter what, but it just sort of made it a little bit cleaner uh, and has a little bit of added functionality uh, with the gamepad controller as well. So, I mean, it's not it's not terrible, but it really wasn't all that necessary. And the other one is Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And this one here, I got the uh, special edition that comes with the um, Wolf Link and Midna Amiibo. And I gotta say, now I have uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess on the GameCube, on the Wii, and the Wii U. I have all three versions of it. Uh, I think I played the most on the GameCube version. I didn't play any of the Wii version because I just I didn't see the point. Uh, but as for the Wii U version, I pretty much just put it in, played a couple minutes of it, and took it out again. But I think if I'm going to complete this game, even though I've played a lot more on the GameCube version, I think I'm just going to stick to the Wii U version and try to finish this on the Wii U. And uh, that is the last game I'm going to show you guys in this first part of my Wii U video game collection. Uh, as always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. They're all linked in the description below. And also linked in the description below is a link to my 500 subscribers contest. Check that out as well if you'd like. And that's it. See ya.